This short clip describes basics of oxidation reduction chemistry that you already had in your general chemistry class. There is no new material for you, but if you feel uncomfortable with this part, please come back to your Gen Chemistry textbook and review this material. All this material for today's lecture you can find in the chapter 4 reaction stoichiometry. We are just doing brief review. So oxidation numbers or oxidation states, which is the same of an element compound is the charge its atoms would possess if the compound would be all ionic. So for ionic compound uh, they already have it. The following guidelines are used to assign oxidation states to each element in a molecule or ion. First, oxidation number of an atom in element is zero. So N2Cl2, all three, all have oxidation number zero. Oxidation number of monoatomic ion is equal to charge of ion. Charge of calcium ion, calcium plus 2. The number is 2 plus. Sodium Na plus. The oxidation number is plus 1. Chloride is Cl minus. Oxidation number is minus 1. For common non-metal in covalent compounds, oxidation numbers are the following. Hydrogen, always plus one. If it combines with ions of positive charge, it will be minus one. So this rule is subrule of number two smaller number dominates next. Oxygen always minus 2 unless you have a compound with oxygen-oxygen bond like in H2O2. Fluorine always minus 1 for F. Other halogens Cl Br I minus one, except in oxygen containing compounds or compounds with other halogens. All other oxidation numbers are just calculated using simple rules. For a neutral molecule, sum of all oxidation numbers for all atoms in a molecule is zero. For ion, sum of all oxidation numbers for all atoms in ion equals charge of this ion. Again, you can look at examples in Chapter 4. Next concept you already know, theoretically, it's half reaction. Half reaction is reaction when only one element changes its oxidation state. Half reaction contains electrons. There is agreement. Always write it as reduction. So electrons are at the left side. So something in oxidized state, so oxidation number is larger, takes several electrons to have smaller oxidation number. For example, Ce4 plus cerium takes one electron to become Ce3 plus. PbO2, here lead has oxidation number of 4, 
takes two electrons to become lead sulfate. Lead here is 2 plus. Mn of 4 minus, oxidation number of manganese is 7 here, takes three electrons to become MnO2. Oxidation number is 4. The same MnO4 minus with oxidation number 7 can take 5 electrons to become Mn2 plus. Of course, it's 2 plus oxidation number. Gold, aurum, Au3+, take three electron to become elemental gold. Element has oxidation number of zero. Now, uh, chapter four tells you how to balance half reaction, but keep in mind, appendix L in your textbook contains many of balance half reactions. Same is true for any other good textbook in chemistry. So advice, do not balance half reaction yourself. Better find it only if it's some exotic and it's impossible to find you're the first person ever that need this half reaction. You are doing this balancing yourself. I don't believe you cannot find it. So how balance the whole oxidation reduction reaction. Well, we are starting with half reactions, so writing separate half reaction and then balancing them. Uh, instead of that, just write separate half reaction approximately and use half reactions from your book. So you have balance oxidation half reaction, balance reduction half reaction. You equalize electrons transferred and add half reaction. The resulting reaction should have no electrons. Now you cancel identical species. Of course, electrons will cancel. Usually, if you have water molecules from two sides, they will cancel as well. Let's look at two examples. Simple example. Iron 3 plus reacts with tin 2 plus to make tin 4 plus and iron 2 plus. Half reactions are Fe3 plus plus 1 electron, Fe2 plus. Sn4 plus 2 electrons, Sn2 plus. Now, to balance, we need to make equal number of electrons from both sides. Here you need to multiply by 2, so 2 Fe3 plus plus 2 electrons makes 2 Fe2 plus. Now here we are multiplying by 1, so we are doing nothing. Sn4 plus plus 2 electrons Sn2 plus. The same, the same. Adding 2 algebraically, so this will go as it is and this will have opposite sign. Resulting will be 2 Fe3 plus Sn2 plus makes Sn4 plus and 2 Fe2 plus. Next more complicated example. MnO4 minus plus Sn2 plus Sn4 plus Mn2 plus. Now we need to find half reaction that has a men of 4 minus a men 2 plus. I can find it in the book. It will be a men of 4 minus plus 8H plus plus 5 electrons, making Mn2 plus and 4 water molecules. Uh, with tin, we have exactly the same reaction. Now here, 5 electrons, 2 electrons. I'm multiplying by 2, this reaction, multiplying by 5, this reaction. Receiving this one, just multiplication everything by 2, and receiving this one, multiplication everything by 5. And then adding two of them, 2 MnO4 minus 16H plus 5 
SN2 plus makes 2 MN2 plus 8 waters and 5 SN4 plus reaction is balanced everything is okay there is no electrons left